Hi, this is Ted Bowman with Six Mile Tech. We provide Drupal consulting and training. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new module I've created for Drupal 8 called Block Visibility Groups. The block system in Drupal 8 is vastly improved and it's much more usable, but still hard to manage complex sites where you want a group of blocks to show up under certain circumstances. This module extends the block system to help out with that issue. So to see what this module does, let's look at a very simple Drupal site without this module installed. So you can see here we have the home page with three blocks showing up, and then we look at an article, we have a different set of blocks showing up, some over here on the right, then some down here at the bottom in content, and then some who's online and who's new down on the footer. If we look at a basic page, we have even another set of blocks, actually just in this case, just the same about author block but down at the bottom of the page. So the problem with blocks in Drupal 8 and as it was in Drupal 7 is the blocks layout page. If we look at this page all the blocks that I just showed you are on here but there's no easy way to tell on what visibility conditions are going to show up. What's going to show up on an article page, what's going to show up on the home page and this is where block visibility group comes in. So now we have the same site, except I've enabled the Block Visibility Group module. And on the block layout, there is a new tab called Block Visibility Groups. So I've created three block visibility groups, article nodes, home page, and page nodes. So if we look at each of these, I'm going to edit article nodes, it has uh, condition settings here. So in this one, its node bundle is article. I could add more conditions. And on the home page one, it's the request path is front. And obviously, I could add more conditions here, say for just a logged in user. And on the page one, of course, it's the bundle equals page. So back on the block layout page, there's a new section called block visibility group. And by default, it's set to global blocks. And so this shows me all blocks that aren't in a particular visibility group. So we have stuff like the help and the made page content in here. Stuff we want to show no matter what. Now I'm going to switch to the article nodes and this will show me only blocks that occur just in the article conditions. So we have the about author, recent comments, and who's online, a few of those here. And then if I look at the home page, we have the who's new recent content and who's online. I can also, for any group, I can say show the global blocks. So that's convenient when I want to look and see the global blocks because they're going to show up on every visibility condition. So I can see on the sidebar first I'm going to have two blocks that come from the home page visibility group and then the user login that comes from the global setting. So when I go to the front end of the site, for any particular page I'm on, there's a new setting up here, Active Block Visibility Groups. And if I open it, it's going to tell me which visibility group or multiple visibility groups are active. And I can manage the blocks. And I can also set the conditions. I can add another condition here. So maybe I want to have just this condition be for when you're viewing the home page and you're logged in. So I'm going to say user role is authenticated user. So now all of these blocks that were already there only show up when it's the home page and the user is authenticated. So if we're going to have a page for users who are logged in at our home page, we probably want a set of blocks for users who are logged out. So I've created another visibility group called home page logged out. And right now you can see I just made this and I made it with the condition the request is at front and the user is anonymous. But right now there's no groups because I just, no blocks in this group because I just created it. So to add a block, I just hit place block and I'll just pick one at random. I will pick the who's online. I'm going to place this. And right now it's locking the visibility group to the home page logged out and you can see there's no other visibility options so that's a setting you can have per visibility group but this makes it so that I don't have to manage the visibility settings per block in a group I can just manage it in one place so I'm going to save it 
and this would give me just one block plus all the global blocks on this logged out one. And that's the basic idea of the module. It tries to make the block layout page a little bit more manageable. And it's an alternative to systems like panels for people who just prefer not to use panels or for sites that they feel like panels is overkill for. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have issues with the module, feel free to create issues on the project page on Drupal.org. Thanks for watching. As always, if you need help with Drupal 7 or Drupal 8 module development, training, or consulting, feel free to contact us at sixmiletech.com.